Members of the National Peace Committee, led by former military head of state, General Abdul Salami Abubakar, arrive at Sir Victor Owaifo's event center in Benin City for the signing of the Edo State Governorship Election Peace Accord. This is the second time that parties and their candidates are committing to a peace accord since 2020, when the National Peace Committee first mediated a similar exercise in the build-up to the 2020 governorship election in the state. The chairman of the National Peace Accord sets the tone for the day's event, stressing the critical role of peace to development. As we stand on the gateway to of yet another critical election in a state, we urge all political actors and stakeholders to commit themselves to the cause of peace in a state. The INEC chairman and the inspector general of police gave assurances to the political parties and their candidates of neutrality and professionalism. For us, the INEC, as the election management body, I want to assure political parties and candidates that we will continue to play our part according to the law and best practice as articulated in the clauses of the National Peace Accord that we are about to commit ourselves to. We will remain impartial, professional, and vigilant while providing a level playing ground for all the political parties and your candidates. Our court party. We are the state chairman. Of Next is the call of the day's event, the signing of the peace accord. Political parties and their candidates are called in alphabetical order for the signing. Thank you. People's redemption party, chairman and candidates. Significantly, the candidate of the People's Democratic Party was absent at the event. The state's chairman of the party was in attendance and he refuses to sign the peace accord. People's Democratic Party, chairman and candidates. As you might have seen in the media, I met the governor yesterday and he told me the PDP uh, are not going to sign this piece of court. They have made some observation, and I was expecting the chairman of the PDP to come and make that statement. We need to go out anywhere, anyone in the world who will agree with us. Outside of the hall, he explains the reason for the party's decision. This is the wife of the Honorable Chairman Nissan West, the Honorable Collins Agbogo, that was whisked away four days ago, 4 a.m. in the night, by the police. Gentlemen of the press, if it were you as a political party, will you, in good conscience, sign that peace accord? <laughs> Again, outside the venue of the ceremony, women groups are staging a protest. <laughs> Their message is directed at the Inspector General of Police, calling for a peaceful election in the state. <laughs>